It is my pleasure to welcome all of our participants and observers and the Munich Young Leaders to the second day. The Munich Security Conference has never been uh, so relevant uh, since the end of the Cold War. Don't worry about saving the planet. The planet does not need saving. Because if we continue on the trajectory that we are on, and we warm this planet to a point where humanity cannot exist, the planet will still be here. I also think the power of knowledge, science, technology can shift the course both on health and environment. I think we are underestimating that. Well, in order to have world order, there have to be some powers that are actually trying to maintain it. And those powers uh, currently are uh, turning inwards to their domestic problems. Think global, act local, and it was replaced by think local and act local. Wir in Europa werden uns gemeinsam mit unseren Partnern immer für unsere Werte und für die europäische Friedensordnung einsetzen. Militärisch ist diese Krise nicht zu lösen. Protektionismus und Abschottung sind gescheiterte Rezepte der Vergangenheit. Sie passen nicht in unsere heutige, von Freihandelsabkommen geprägte Zeit. Und deshalb werden wir uns von deutscher Seite auch mit aller Entschiedenheit für den Abschluss eines Freihandelsabkommens mit den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika einsetzen. Gleichzeitig müssen wir daran arbeiten, die Instrumente kooperativer Sicherheit in Europa wiederherzustellen und sie zu stärken. Hierbei kommt der OSZE eine besondere Rolle zu. None of us, at least in the liberal democratic West, want to see a military solution. There was a piece in the New York Times, surrender or arm Ukraine. I mean, I think that's the, that's the way it will go unless, I mean, if diplomacy fails, and we say we won't arm Ukraine, that's what will happen. And we've already seen the line move beyond Minsk. The question is how far? Absolut. Und ähm, die Frage ist, ob das ähm, so anders wäre, wenn die Bewaffnung der ukrainischen Armee etwas besser wäre. Das Problem ist, dass ich mir keine Situation vorstellen kann, in der eine verbesserte Ausrüstung der ukrainischen Armee dazu führt, dass Präsident Putin so beeindruckt ist, dass er glaubt, militärisch zu verlieren. As regards Ukraine, at any stage of the crisis, the American counterparts and the European Union, under their influence, took steps to escalate the conflict. The common European home was not built because our Western partners were not guided by interest to build a common security architecture, but by illusions. And I have to say that, um, as I recall it, it was President Yanukovych who first broke the agreement. There are no troops, you know, of Russia in Ukraine. There are no evidences, and no, there are no Russian troops in, in Ukraine. That's it. The Russian position is intellectually unsound, it is factually untrue, and people are dying. 